Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are looking at 5 things you still didn't know were a thing in New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we have now passed the 9 months mark since the launch of Animal Crossing New Horizons which is just crazy. The community surrounding the game is constantly grown too which is great news because it means new players are joining in every day some of which are only now experiencing Animal Crossing for the very first time so that's really awesome. Anyway with this in mind I thought it'd be fun to go over 5 things that you probably didn't know were a thing in New Horizons with a particularly interesting one towards the end for those who have never time travelled. Of course it's impossible to highlight secrets and tips and tricks and things like that that every single player doesn't know since we all play differently but hopefully even the experienced players will discover something new. So please leave a like on the video it helps out so much and let's get to it. Number 1 Peer Patterns so one of the most mysterious features found on the New Horizons Island is of course the dock or pier that unlike in past games doesn't really do anything besides giving you a cool place to fish for some of those rarer creatures like the tuna for example. Anyway something you may not know is that the pier can in fact be treated just like the grass and sand areas. So if you find yourself decorating your pier you can customise it even further by displaying patterns on it which is a super cool detail that's often missed. For example I've set up a tiny fishing area here with a cool box and some fishing rods but I can make it look a little more realistic and unique by displaying a puddle pattern on top of the pier. It's a pretty cool little detail. But what do you think? Did you know you could do this already and what kind of patterns do you think would look cool when placed on the pier? Let us know in the comments. Number 2 Critter Unlocks now as you know every month in Animal Crossing Seas all new types of fish, bugs and deep sea creatures arrive and leave the New Horizons Island. This is a great mechanic and simulates the real world with seasonal critters coming and going allowing us to catch a variety of creatures all year round. However some critters are naturally rarer than others and slightly harder to encounter. One detail that you may not know is that some creatures simply won't spawn in until they are unlocked. For example bugs like the horned elephant, giraffe stag and horned hercules beetles aren't unlocked until you've caught 100 bugs. Which may explain why sometimes after hours of searching those palm trees you simply never encounter them. The good news is it's not 100 different bugs you need to catch to unlock these just 100 bugs in total. So just a small detail to bear in mind if you're struggling to find specific creatures. Number 3 Tripping Balloons now you may already know that if you wear the King Tut mask whilst running around you will likely trip over every few seconds which although fun at first eventually gets frustrating and makes it super difficult to get from A to B. But something you should know is that the King Tut mask isn't the only thing that can make you fall over. If you run around while holding a balloon eventually you will trip over and sadly the balloon will float away and you'll lose it forever. Not really a big deal but it's very cool little detail that can easily be missed. Number 4 Dig Spots Dig spots are of course those holes in the ground that appear whenever you dig up fossils or trees or even that pesky mole cricket. But these dig spots feature one of the tiniest super attention to detail details in the entire game. Believe it or not the dig spot actually changes colour depending on what path they're dug on and it's so subtle that most people don't even notice it. Here we can see normal grass, sand and both types of dirt paths and when you dig a hole on each one it's actually a slightly different colour and corresponds to the path. Of course you can do it at any time of year but it's a lot easier to see without the snow. Anyway nothing groundbreaking or game changing but as far as small details go this has to be the smallest so I thought it was worth a mention because the designers definitely deserve credit for including this level of detail. Number 5 Bed Hair now Animal Crossing New Horizons features a bunch of different reactions and animations throughout the entire game but there's one animation in particular that some players may never see. If you time travel far enough ahead into the future or you simply don't play for a month or so before picking up the game again the player will wake up with messy bed hair before fixing it during a short animation. Now if the animation itself isn't cool enough experiencing this actually unlocks their hairstyle and adds it to your inventory to use as a permanent style. Which is definitely a cool little feature and something to remember if you want to unlock every hairstyle in the game. 
And there we have it, that was 5 details you may not have known were a thing in Animal Crossing New Horizons. But what do you think, did you know all of these? And do you have any other little details or tricks you've discovered that we need to know? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe as I'll be uploading a bunch of New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members you guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too and of course if you made it to the end of the video please comment pier just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include whether or not you decorate your pier. I'd love to know. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and find it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.